What is up, Flock? Phoenix Feather here, and welcome back to another Farming Sim 19 Mod Spotlight. Now, I was away last week. Uh, I actually left last week on Wednesday, so I didn't have it didn't like have any time to make one of these. So we got a ton of mods. Some have been out for a while, so you guys have probably already seen them. But for those who haven't, here we go. So anyway, let's jump right into it because we got a lot to go through today. Alright, so do we have, before we get into it, I need to find the, uh, shop trigger right there, okay. Um, and this is a bit weird how we're, we're crammed in here. I tried to place more than one tree, and I could place one, so. Anyway, alright, so let's hop in the Kubota. One of my new favorite mods. I, I'm in love with this thing. I, I, I love these little Kubota tractors. I have personally driven w one or two in my lifetime. So uh, I'm uh, I'm I'm excited for it, and it does. What? All right. So you know what? You know what we're gonna do? We are going to buy um the yeah the Ford service tools design color crimson. All right. Yep. Everything else is fine. Let's buy that, and this map's got to push right up against the corner, so I don't know where we have to go. I'm guessing behind us, because it's sticking through the wall. Alright, so we'll set up shop right here. Hopefully we do not have to, no, okay. Alright. So let's go back and hop in the tractor. Some reason it's picking up that one, which is really weird. Look at them bright lights on the back. Yeah, oh, of course. Actually, let's go ahead and turn all my stop off. It's gonna shut down anyway. Wow, hold on, buddy. Back this away. There we go. I want it in the road. I turn that off. All my engine start off on off. Alright. Get out of here. M customize. All right, so this is, I, I love this setup here. You have, okay, so you have nothing, you have a canopy, and then you have the cab. Uh, we're gonna go canopy. Accessories, plane, weight, guard, weight and guard. We're gonna go weight and guard. Front loader attacher, yes. And wheel setup, two wheel drive or four wheel drive. We're gonna go four wheel drive. Yes, I absolutely love this thing. If you guys haven't noticed, I put it in like two thumbnails now. This is going to be like the third. Because this is, this is, I love this little tractor. This is awesome. Right, so it's, it comes with the front loader. I don't think it comes with a bucket. I could be wrong, but I think the bucket is another mod one I have in. So I, it's just this, this in-game one just edited it. So I don't think it does, but it does come with this mower here. Now, the only problem I ha I've, I've played with this mod for a couple weeks now, um, so I, I know a little bit about it. Um, the only thing I dislike about this tractor is not even the tractor, it's the mower that comes with it. I don't have access to this land. Let's uh, go ahead and X. Bye. Yes. Alright. The only problem I have with this mower is it does not... Is it cut? There we go. It does not put the uh, grass out behind it. Now it's supposed to be like that. It says it like it's like that. I just don't. I don't know. I I would prefer it came with two options: one with grass, and one without grass. That's just my personal opinion. But the I mean the mower looks great. It works like it's supposed to. Uh, the tractor looks great. It works like it's supposed to. Do we have we have lights? Yep, we have all kinds of lights on it. 
Do we have blinkers? Yes, oh, we do. Brake lights? Yep. No reverse lights. I don't know if it would have reverse lights or not. But uh, I figured I'd just, I'd just put it out there for those of you who don't know. Alright, so that's all we need to do because, like I said, I've played this for a couple weeks. I absolutely love this tractor. Um, this does have the strap it down, so like straps, I should probably demonstrate that. Uh, so you can strap it to the trailers with the, uh, the tie down. So 5 out of 5, I absolutely love this tractor. Uh, this is, this is awesome. Freaking awesome. Thank you so much, modder, whoever you are. You deserve a big thank you. Now then, after that one come out, this one come out. I, I don't know if it's supposed to be a bigger tractor or same size. I mean, it looks, it looks the same, just scaled up. Oh no, actually the, uh, size of the tractors are a bit, not they're the same. No, they are a bit different. All right. We have lights. We have blinkers. We have flashers. They are legitimately about the same size. So I don't know the difference between these two. They are pretty spot on the same size. What's the difference in the actual... But I have no clue about the tractors. I'm just gonna say this. So this is supposed to be a L3901 compact tractor, and this is supposed to be a L6060. Um, I would imagine the 6060 has a bigger engine. 31 kilowatts, 42 house horsepower, house power, <laughs> 120 liters, 24 miles per hour. Okay, so yeah, this one's a little bit more powerful. The it's got less. It only holds 51 liters of fuel, but it has the it has more power. All right, and it has a beacon. So let's disconnect from the mower. Still a small tractor. I mean, it works just fine. So, I, I, I mean, I don't know. I, I give it a five out of five. I mean, it, it looks good. Looks just like that one, pretty much, with the exception of right in here. They're a bit different, but I mean they're the same size. This one's a little bit more powerful. That's about the only difference. And this one's just a regular cab, which you can make that one a cab if you really want to. So I'll get a five out of five. I just say if uh if you want an a better one, I'd go that one. So you make the cab. This like I said, this only has a little bit more power to it. That's the only difference I see. So anyway. Let's get into the Western Star. Okay, so do you have... No, okay, so it comes with the LED flashers. You can add the light bar. Alright. Let's head on over here. Alright. Menu. Oh, you know what? I didn't show the customization features off on that second Kubota. Let's check it out. Whoopsie. Hey. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Whew. That was close. Parker right in there. I don't think it had any... Oh, yeah, okay. So you can add the front attack. That's it. All right. So. Hey. Get... Come on. Get up. Get out of the way. Right. So let's test this one out. M. Customize. So we have another Workstar. 
Uh, this one is from Expendables. Oh my goodness. It's shiny. I like it. Okay, rim detail. Um, let's make them chrome. And you know what? I'm digging. I dig the, the stainless steel. I think it looks a whole lot better than chrome. Just saying. Main color. Let's do, uh, let's do pink. Oh, yeah. 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 That's what we're doing. Design color. Um, can we make it pearl white? Yeah, that's what we're doing. Heck yeah. All right. Um, single stack. Okay. That's dual stack. Uh, we'll do single. Uh, I'm not a fan of the dual stacks on this. Just, just saying. Uh, so we'll do the single. Design, nothing. Plow equipment. Yeah, let's keep, let's put the plow equipment on it. Uh, plow equipment, light bar, both. Uh, engine setup 3460E. Tune, we'll go tune. Wheel setup, we have Alcoa's. Heavy Alcoa, let's do heavy Alcoa. Uh, capacity standard 40k liter, let's do 40k liter. Customize, yes. And it also, if I'm not mistaken, comes with right here. Hello, there we go. I guess it's not going to connect. Okay, well, we see what the options are in here. It's under miscellaneous, I believe. Yep. Okay, so main color. We'll do. Well, we did like this pink. Yeah, okay. Uh, and no lights. Lights. Alright. You know what? Disconnect from this one. Heat. And let's go get the other one. Back her up. Woo. Them high beams though. Turn our lights on. So I'll customize what the cover opens and closes. Let's get us a um Yep, let's get us a pallet of this. Oh, maybe it only does it in the, with the wet of season mod. Whoops, I did not know that. Well, we've used this truck in live streams. You guys have seen it. Uh, it's another one that's been out for a while. I'm going to give it a 5 out of 5 because it looks good. It works. And I'm in love. Me and Tyler both love this truck. It's freaking nice. So, 5 out of 5. I don't, I, don't need to, I don't need to spend any more time on my Expendables. Is, everything they put out is just awesome. So, there it is. There it is. That, that's all I got to say about that. All right. So uh, let's get these road signs out of the way real quick. So these road signs, well, it comes in a pack. So everything you see here, the barrier, this yellow sign, the orange sign, this sign here, the cone or the big cone, the, the skinny cone, and there's an actual traffic cone somewhere around here. Another traffic one. Where is it? Where are you? You're somewhere around here. Are you under one of these bad boys? Nope. 
turn you over here. Yep, okay, here we go. So, all these, you have all this selection, and like, when you buy them, they show up at the shop, so they're not placeable, which I'm, I'm hoping that means that it would be synced in multiplayer. Again, I haven't tried these out in multiplayer. I just, with them being in a, like a, like you purchase them like a bale. So I would assume, I would assume, uh, but I mean, that's me assuming. I, I don't actually know because I haven't tested it in multiplayer. That they would show up like they do in multi or like a bale would in multiplayer, which it would be sync. Because remember uh, in 17, they were a uh, placeable sort of thing, and if you picked it up, it kind of went wonky. Um, not ev not everybody saw you moving it. That had to do with synchronization. Now with the placeable like a bale, I assume that it would work like a bale. I went and bought a flatbed because it's easier to load it up and show if it locks down or not. Boop. Now, each of these are color color customizable. Let's go in here. I think they're under decorations. No. Um, miscellaneous? No. Oh wait, they're under this, I think. No? Okay, am I losing my mind? Is there a miscellaneous in here? Hey, here you go. All right. So you get to change orange, black, blue, green, neon, red, white, yellow, or back to orange. And all of them are like that. So you can have them whatever color you want, whatever your heart desires. Bam. Uh, we have the construction sign. Oof. Accident ahead. Be prepared to stop. Bridge work ahead. Construction zone and construction zone. Detour ahead. Detour, detour. Flagger ahead. Finds double in work zones. Lane closed ahead. Mowers ahead. Merge, merge. Men working. Road closed. Road closed ahead. Road construction ahead. Road work ahead. Slow. Truck is entering and exiting roadway. Accident ahead. Oh, we've already did that. I'm pretty sure these can. We, okay, there we go. Pretty sure this is all the same. Yep. And this one, Animal Crossing. Caution, case crossing, caution entering mining area, caution long ahead, deer crossing. That's pretty cool. And then we have these, which we have orange plastic, black plastic, blue plastic. I'm guessing it's just the colors. Oh, concrete. Okay. So yeah, uh, you got you got all those options with these. Endless possibilities. We need now. We need fire trucks. Chief, come back. Come back to us. Come back to FS and give us FS19 fire trucks. Nah, man. I'm kidding. He's out. He's out there doing his thing. Hopefully, in a, a few years, we get to see something. Cause they're, they're, they're doing all kinds of stuff over there. All right. So let's lift. Yep. Drop it just like that. And they tie down. That's so cool. That's freaking awesome. So this, this sign pack, I'll give a 5 out of 5. That is awesome. Good work. I like it. I like it. The strap down thing, the strap down mod or uh, strap down addition to, to mods is probably the greatest thing to come out to FS19. Um, because it's like a legit locking script. Um, you actually tie down the stuff instead of just hitting a button and it just locks to it. So I, I like it. I like it a lot. It's more legit than having the lock, locking, lock load stuff. Everybody should add that, add to everything, that strap down to everything. This is my opinion. Alright, so let's take this over here see if it has any options now again this is another mod I've been using it's been out for a while 
Uh, you guys have seen me use it in the live streams. If you are, you watch the live streams. Um, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on it. I just want to show that it works. Let's make it an olive green. Yeah, I like that. Forestry, yes. Why? Why wouldn't it be forestry? Customize, yes. Ooh, hello. Wrong truck. Let's go see the, the three point. I didn't. I, I've never used. I don't know what you would use it for, but we'll we'll see what we can do with it. The three point attacher here. We have lights. We have blinkers. Beacons. I got. I got to see. I got to see if this works. Oh dang! I found my new mower. Just kidding. Go ahead and disconnect that, and I'll take it over here and show you that it cuts down trees. Uh, my only complaint with this one is I wish that when you chop down the trees, it would at least sell it the wood chips like automatically. Uh, or just sell sell for the wood, kind of like um, that placeable uh, wood sale point is or does. Um, that's the only thing I I wish. Because you cut down this tree and you get nothing for it. That's the only thing that sucks. It is a really good stump grinder though. Bam, it works. And your guy looks super small in it. I'm just saying. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna give it a five out of five. It works great. Only only thing I wish they would add is like a, you get some sort of money out of it when you use it. Uh, I'd probably make it too OP, but you know, you know. Just, oh, I was gonna say just as bad new vehicles. I don't remember about new vehicles. Um, can we? All right, hold on. Um. Miscellaneous? Yes, alright. Uh, was there a grass one? I guess let's do lime. See, it won't let me move. It won't let me go anywhere. It won't let me place anything. Is there like a lot of placeable stuff already in the map? No, it's not. Okay, so I don't know. I guess we'll skip this for now. Because I wanted to test it out, but I can't place anything. Let's see if we can place something down there. It won't let me move my camera. I don't know if it's a glitch in the in the map or I one of the ones see it won't let me move I can move this it won't let me place anything and I, I but I can't move my camera around with my WASD keys so we'll skip the Bobcat which also comes with this trailer we'll save that for next week because I I can't I can't do anything with them all right um, so we'll also we'll also skip the horse trailers for, and wait for them for n next week so we can knock out these tow trucks. Now I'm not gonna spend too much time on these tow trucks. Uh, this is an updated pack. There is he uh, included all of the the other ones that we've already covered in our mod spotlights. So uh, I'm not I'm not gonna spawn them all in. And like I said, I'm not gonna make sure they all work because I'm pretty sure. And if one works, they uh, they all work, right? That's just my way of thinking. Extend arm. There we go. All right. So. I want to see if this thing will tow that plow truck. Let's go test that out. Pretty sure... Yeah, 
saw it goes up. Pretty sure this is, you gotta have this hook still to tow things. Forgot. I forgot how to do this. Oh my goodness. Alright, so we gotta connect this. To this. Alright. Alright. Let's go. Yes, that works. Alright. So I want to know Can I let's Roll up here like this Let's uh, Can Okay there we go There's that Bam. Ha ha, yeah, there we go. All right. Left shift. Oh, turn it on. Yes, this is so awesome. This is so awesome. I think we caused a bigger problem than what it was. Oh, hey. There we go. Safety first. Sling it down. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh no, oh no. <laughs> nope. <laughs> this is this is why This is why we can't have nice things. Oh my good okay. No, down. Down, boy. Down. Oh, hey. Oh, I've... I've... There we go. Nope. <laughs> okay. At least it's flipped back over. Alright. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Alright. Uh, so, let's go ahead and detach this. Hold it back up. Okay, let's rotate this around. Now let's. Okay, let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. Uh, nope. that 
Alright, let's see if this the tow this. I would imagine it would only work with the trucks I have. Have the uh, snow pile attached to the front. I'm purely guessing, but that's that's my train of thought anyway. Just, oh, slide that out. Oh hey, what what if we uh Doesn't definitely has definitely has the, the straps on the on it. I'm guessing. Okay, let's go. Let's try it from the back. See what happens. It had. I, I'm guessing you had. It had the mod has to have the strap down on it. If that's the case, we can test it out with the Kubota and see if it drops down. Again, I I don't I'm, don't confuse me with knowing what I'm talking about because I clearly don't. Can this hook to the back of this? Okay, well the straps weren't on, so it's no. Okay, let's see if it works with the Kubota. Again, I could be doing this wrong. If I am, please let me know so I can correct myself. Okay, so yeah, see, it, it locks down the strap. So as long as it has the strap down mod, it, it's gonna work. All right, cool beans. So I'm wondering. First of all, let's go see what options this thing has. I know this one has more options than the rest of them. Cause I think you can do the American flag, you can do the Canadian flag. Customize. So let's do the main color. Let's do it white. Let's do the secondary color white. That's cool. And we need USA, Canada, no decal. Let's do no decal, yes. Okay. So, let's... Can we pick this up and just do that? Nope, drop it like that. Uh, let's use another one of these and see if we can hook up one a tow truck to a tow truck. Why not? Uh, let's use my favorite one, which is this one here. I like this one. 
I don't know why, but as soon as I saw it, I immediately gravitated towards this one. Kind of, probably because it kind of looks like the uh, one. Well, they all kind of look like the ones off of. Uh, um. Uh, uh, what was that show called? Oh no, I forgot. Don't, don't. Let, highway through hell, right? Or highway, yeah, highway through hell. I think it was, was what it was called. Jamie Davis Towing. There you go. Uh, that's that was the guy who or the the company name, but the one I think his name was Adam. I think this he drove something, but his was a T eight hundred, wasn't it? I don't remember. It's been so long since I watched that show. I wonder if there's any new seasons on Netflix. Is it still on? Mm -hmm. All right. So let's see. If it was strapped down. So let's drop this. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Oh. Okay, so if you guys know of another way to make that work, let me know in the comments down below. So we have this one, which is a rotator. We have the twin steer, which is a rotator. We have another, that's, okay, so that one's got the, uh, the, uh, is it a sleeper cab or is it just a, I'm going to guess it's just a, like a storage. Yeah, okay. And then we have a regular cab rotator. We have the heavy rescue here, which, oh, that's not the right truck. Which has a Seagrave cab on it. Lights, that's all it does, I believe. Turn on. Oh, this thing's got a winch on it? What? Hold on. It does. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, that's cool. That's awesome. So we have the heavy rescue that has a winch on the front, and then we have just a regular. Uh, heavy wrecker here, no rotator. So yeah, I'm gonna give that pack a five out of five. That's awesome. Uh, wow, it took long, way longer than I thought it would. Uh, but yeah, these trucks, these freaking tow trucks are amazing, absolutely amazing. Almost makes me want to start a tow series again in uh, multiplayer or uh, not, not multiplayer in FS19. Anyway, that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. If you guys did like the video, be sure to leave a like down below. If you guys want to see future farming simulator 19 mod spotlights be sure to click subscribe and those guys thank you so very very much for watching and i shall see you guys next week bye